name's Janelle and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be sharing how to make the perfect gathered skirt. For this skirt, you will need about two meters or two yards of your fabric of choice. I'm using this amazing burnt orange cotton fabric that's about 1.4 meters or 1.5 yards wide a pair of scissors, and some elastic that is the measurement of your waist. Start by folding out your fabric and cutting out two rectangles approximately 80 centimeters or 32 inches long by the width of your fabric. This measurement will make a midi length skirt, but you can make your skirt longer or shorter by adjusting the length measurement accordingly. To make this step easier, use some tailor's chalk or a water erasable pen to mark where you will need to cut. Once you have your two large rectangles, next cut out four smaller rectangles approximately seven centimeters or two and three quarter inches by the width of your fabric. Then, Cut out six tiny rectangles, approximately seven centimeters or two and three quarter inches by five centimeters or two inches. And lastly, with your leftover fabric, cut out two more rectangles, approximately 10 centimeters or four inches by the width of your fabric. Then fold these rectangles in half lengthways and cut a small triangle off at one end. These will end up being a cute tie for the skirt. So all up, you should now have the following pieces. To make the skirt, start by taking the six tiny rectangles and press them in half lengthways and then fold them again by meeting the edges into the center and press in place. Repeat for each piece. And stitch along both edges. These will be the belt loops. Next, take the four skinny rectangles and stitch two together to make two long skinny rectangles. These will form the waistband. Pin the belt loops onto the waistband at 25 centimeter or 10 inch intervals, skipping the center front as this will be where the tie will form a bow. Pin the loops and the other waistband in place along one edge, then stitch in place. Once stitched, press the waistband and the loops flat. Next, take your large rectangle pieces and with right sides together, lay one on top of the other. Pin and stitch along one of the side edges. Then, matching the seams together, pin the waistband and the belt loops onto the top of the skirt edge. Stitch in place, making sure to stitch the belt loops as you sew the waistband down. Once stitched, press the seam towards the top of the skirt and then with right sides together and matching the seams, stitch the other side edge of the skirt together. waistband and encase all the seams and stitches that have been made so far and pin the waistband in place. Then 
stitching from the right side, sew the waistband in place, making sure to secure the back of the waistband as you sew, and leaving a small opening to thread the elastic through at the end. Then, I also decided to sew a top stitch along the entire top edge of the skirt just to finish it off nicely. Once the waistband is attached, hem the skirt by folding the raw edge in about 1cm or half an inch twice. Now it's time to thread the elastic into the waistband. Attach a safety pin onto one end of the elastic and start to feed it through the hole we created when we sewed the waistband onto the skirt. This takes a little bit of time, but as you thread the elastic through the waistband, try to spread the gathers out as evenly as possible. Once the elastic has been fed all the way through, stitch the two ends of elastic together by sewing multiple zigzag stitches. Then, stitch the hole in the waistband closed. Now, this part is optional, but seems as we've made the belt loops, I thought it would be cute to make a cute waist tie to go with the skirt. Take the two remaining rectangles and stitch them together at the non-triangle end. Then, with right sides together, press and stitch the tie along the raw edge, leaving a small opening to be able to turn the tie right side out. Trim the excess fabric away and turn the tie right side out. Then press the tie flat and top stitch the entire tie sewing the small opening closed as you stitch. Then simply thread the tie through the belt loops and then tie it into a bow. And your skirt is complete. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did enjoy it, then be sure to subscribe to my channel. We're so close to reaching 50,000 subscribers, which is absolutely insane. And I'm so grateful to everyone that has followed along so far. It means the absolute world to me. And I'm so happy that you enjoy watching my videos as much as I enjoy making them. Also, if you haven't already, be sure to come find me on Instagram at Rosary Apparel if you'd like to see some of the other things I make and if you'd like to see a little bit of what I get up to every day. Have a lovely day and thanks for watching.